Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this Buffalo Check Vinyl and this little sign from Dollar Tree. I took plaster chalk paint by Waverly and covered both sides of the sign. Now I will be covering it with vinyl, but I had checked ahead of time and you can see the lettering through. So that's why I am painting everything on there. I gave it two coats and then made sure it was completely dry. I then took the Buffalo Check Vinyl and traced both of the sides because I'll be covering both sides with the vinyl. And then I cut those pieces out. I removed the backing and placed down the vinyl, smoothing it out. And I did this to both sides and I'm using my razor blade to go along the edges to get off any of the excess of vinyl. Next, I took these two pieces of plank wood that I got from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of six. I took two of them and painted one side and the edges with the plaster chalk paint, just one coat. Once that was dry, I took Mod Podge and applied a generous layer to the sides I had painted. And then I placed down this burlap ribbon, which is also from Dollar Tree. I used my heating tool to dry the Mod Podge onto those. Once they were dry, I did an outer layer of Mod Podge covering the front of that. Again, using my heating tool to dry those. Once it was dry, I just went around and trimmed up some of the excess burlap. And then I took these stencils from Dollar Tree. They're self-adhesive. Just cut two of the pieces out and placed one down on one of the pieces of burlap and used black chalk paint and a stencil brush. Very minimal paint on the brush and stenciled on that design. And burlap is sometimes hard to stencil on, but with the Mod Podge on the outside of it, it helps so it doesn't like soak through and the paint doesn't spread everywhere. And that's what that one looks like. And then I do my neck saying on the other one. Once those were done, I added one to each side, just trying to get it as centered as possible using hot glue to attach it. Now, if you want it to just be able to turn it around and have both sides go in the same direction, you can do that. I made mine so when you flip it, the writing will be on the right side. That's it for this project. Super easy and quick little makeover. Thank you guys so much for watching.